So this is it. All your new friends have lied to you, but somehow they're going to get you through the trial, right? I wish Freddy were here. Like a boat lost at sea with no sails, not a breeze. I am drifting cold waters, no star to be seen. I'll embrace the fire as it burns deep inside, bright enough to guide me an ocean defied. But as I burn. Turned away one by one In the end am I alone Like a boat lost at sea With no sails, no breeze I am drifting cold water, no star go. Uh, hello? Oh, Grace, there you are. Everyone is already waiting for you on Olympus. I thought this was Olympus. <laughs> Not this office building, my word, no. <laughs> Welcome to Old Olympus, dear. Is this... a real place? It's the memory of a real place, which for us is the same thing. Let's begin, shall we? Brothers, sisters, Everyone, look around you. We few who remain fled to this new land to escape the war, but we are not out of danger. I waited to tell you until I was certain, and now I am. The idols are dying. It will not be long before even our immortality deserts us. The time for extreme measures has arrived.
And you'll be the one deciding which of those extreme measures is implemented, right? You and no one else. <laughs> when has there ever been anyone else? Each of you is here because I brought you here. I protected you. I carved out this space in a strange land so we could survive. I am at this trial to tell you that, as always, I will look out for you. I will save you. Trust in me, Pallas Athena, daughter of Zeus and leader of the chorus, and I will do anything it takes to keep you all alive. You'll do anything? Tell them. Let them know what that anything includes. Tell them about the prophecy Apollo gave you, and how you've interpreted it. The idols cannot continue so long as the last muse lives. Isn't that how it goes? It's true. We spoke to Calliope and Hades. She told us how you sent the Furies after her. She... W you couldn't have. Yes, I could. There's more to an idol than just the Eidolon. Maybe you even knew that once, but you've forgotten it. Just like all the idols have. You don't know everything, Athena. No, no, no. I do not accept this. You! You, you are lying! You're the one who's been lying! Or would you like to explain to the idols how you murdered Calliope based on a vague prophecy? Tell them. Yes, it's me. It's me. Of course, it's me. The one... Who gets it done? Don't you see? It had to be. You all turn away when I got the fish. Then you cry, hooray, once it's on the dish. That's how we do this. Yes, we. Yes, you and me. I do all this time you've shown us what to sing wisdom that's what you bring is that still true this coming from you you're lost little boy you've lost all perspective you're ready to throw this away you call that wise Nobody needs to make a sacrifice None of you see So it's down to me It's fine I'll take all the blame I'll take all the pain Think you see See it's crap, you want to make the call, you need to hold the map, you cloistered children. It's time for you and all who stand with you. Yes, you too. Thank you. 
glad you'll feel regret I know you know I'm right You feel it deep inside If I stop now, Olympus is wrecked Cause and effect It's time to do something new. I'm ready to see. Athena, you know me. I'm not the kind who is ruled by emotion, but I don't. Really? Pan, you? The way I see it, if you have to take Grace, then you definitely have to take me. Of course, it's me, because of me, this prophecy would come to be. My Olympus is gone, and you're wrong, looking on. At her strangers wearing my face, my Olympus is gone. Now I'm some other one. Just how long has she? Instead of hoping you could get to somewhere right But it's been too many years since the mainland was in sight There was a voice in me that shouted Athena, you be strong be strong, no cost is great enough. It was wrong, I was wrong. I was wrong and now I don't know what the right thing is. I leave it up to you what to do with this. I forgive you, Athena. a monster I've met monsters who weren't monsters I'm a monster to me I'm sorry Grace I'm sorry all of you I wish Calliope She does, she hears you.
you finished? You've been talking forever. We're done, yes. And? You certain about that chair, brother? You've always said you didn't want it. I think it's about time, don't you? Responsibility suits you, Apollo. Maybe one day you'll even button up your shirt. Well, fortunately I won't be in the position long enough to find out. We've decided to disband the course. No more laws, no more hiding from mortals. It's time the idols found a new way. You're planning to tell everyone what we really are? <laughs> Isn't that risky? We'll give it some time to let those who are afraid go into hiding, but it needs to happen. We have to rejoin the world. You all agree to this? No argument? No argument? Grace, you know us. We cannot order lunch without a good argument. It's what Calliope fought for. It seems appropriate. I only wish you were here to see it. Calliope would definitely approve. Yes, well, it'll be up to us to pick up the pieces if this all falls apart. We have to try. What other choice do we have? It's hard to picture the idols living without rules. Medusa comes to mind, for instance. Think she'll be okay with mortal laws? Medusa has offered to live in the reliquary. Frankly, I think she's relieved. As for the others, I suppose they'll have to answer to mortal authorities now. Assuming they don't just round us up the moment they realize what we are. Thank you for the optimism, Pan. What about Athena? She can't be okay with this. She won't fight it. She said, and I quote, Whatever your decision, I will abide by it. That's a switch. <laughs> the fight's just not in her anymore. She was so certain she was doing the right thing. Oh, now that's an old tune. I will see how long this new Athena lasts. I have a few thoughts as to how you could go about revealing yourselves. I was hoping you might. If there's time, we could prepare a campaign. A campaign? You make it sound like preparing for battle. It is, kinda. The idols would be stars before you know it. If you're famous enough, there's only so much that can be done to you. Now that is a marvelous idea indeed. Could you all give Grace and I a moment, please? Well, you did it. You survived. We did it. I would have been lost if you hadn't stood beside me. I was just trying to do the right thing. And now you're leading the idols. <laughs> I'm proud of you. And I you. You stood your ground with Athena and won. A feat even the mightiest idols have never accomplished. Wasn't like I had much choice, right? Obviously you're as free to go as any of the idols, but I do hope you'll remain with us. We need you. Of course I'll stay. You'll all start arguing again the minute I leave, otherwise. Oh, we'll probably do that even if you stay. Character growth, Apollo. If you can do it, so can the rest of the idols. <laughs> Let's hope you hold on to that optimism. What do you say, Grace? Ready to face the music one more time? Always. Of course you're both here. In my apartment. Why wouldn't you be? We were waiting for you. How does it feel to be the idol spokesperson appearing on every newscast, reputable and otherwise? 
I'm exhausted. The Oracle has been keenly following your progress. She records every appearance, every interview. She may be your biggest fan. <laughs> the way she talks, you'd think she never doubted who you were. Well, at least she's been of great help to your online campaign. Everyone here has also been busy. Would you like to hear the latest? What about you, Apollo? Still planning on leaving the city? Not right away. I've been helping the idols remaining at Olympus learn how to live as part of the mortal world. Every day he parades about the city with idols in tow like frightened ducklings, showing them how the world works. But Apollo barely knows how the world works. <laughs> well, that's what makes it funny. It's the blind leading the blind. And after that? I don't know. I was thinking of traveling for a time. Despite my age, there are so many places I haven't been. What you mean is that all the attention on the idols is driving you to distraction. It is a bit disconcerting. The photographers following me around, the letters addressed to the sun god. I, I, I don't know what to do with it all. Even so, I'm not running away. I'll be back. I simply think it's time to see the world again with my own eyes. I heard Eros and Venus left the city together. Is that right? You heard correctly. Venus wanted to use her fame to do good works as an activist, and Eros is assisting her. Let's be realistic. He's there to catch her when her efforts inevitably implode. You're being uncharitable, sister. I was at one of Venus's rallies, and it was rather invigorating. Aphrodite always did love being adored by the masses. Well, at any rate, Eros sounded keen. He thinks this is a much better approach than wallowing in Olympus. Uh, you mean he's glad to have time to pursue a new lover or two? <laughs> Who could blame him? How about you, Persephone? Any big changes? Not yet, though I may be selling the club very soon. The Underworld? Why? I don't need a substitute for the real thing. That's all it ever was, and I'm fine with having neither. That said, I've been itching for a change. I believe it's time to move on to something else. Do we get to know what that something else is? <laughs> no, you don't. I came by to give you all my regards, such as they are. After this, you likely won't see me for quite some time. You will be missed, sister. More than you'll ever believe. What about Hecate and Asterion? Are they still at the reliquary? Asterion is not, currently. He's going to appear on the next season of that, uh, television dating show. I thought that was just a rumor. No, 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 no. He is really doing it. Asterion's rather thrilled at all the attention. Last I spoke to him. I don't understand the appeal. He's a sweetheart, and you know it. I hope you find someone awesome. As for Hecate, there's little chance of her leaving the reliquary. I assume she's the same as always. She is. Hecate enjoys the solitude. At any rate, she claims everything will change for us soon enough. It is written, I'm guessing. Naturally. And Medusa? I take it she's no longer at the reliquary. She was. For a few months. There was an incident involving Hecate's new cat. Oh no! Medusa was beside herself with apologies, but needless to say, she moved on rather quickly. We're not certain where. Meaning what? Medusa is roaming the streets? Doing whatever she likes? Mm, not quite. Medusa believed she might not be able to control her, uh appetite, so she asked us to put her in contact with the mortal government. They took her somewhere. It was her decision. The government is grateful. They even suggested we might see Hephaestus again. Aphrodite's husband? He's alive? So it appears. Who knows what he's been doing for the mortals since the war, but 
It would raise all our spirits to see him again. Has anyone heard about Athena? It's been a while. I have. She left the city, as she felt uncomfortable with all the attention on the idols. Terrified, you mean? It was more that mortals expected the Goddess of Wisdom to have sage advice, and... she no longer trusts her judgment. No surprise there. You don't still worry about her, brother, after all she's done? I... <laughs> I think of her off in the far north, living alone in the wilderness, punishing herself until the end of her days. I know it's her own choosing, but... it seems like such a waste. Is Hermes still around? I'm surprised they're not here with the rest of you. Well, we've barely seen them of late. Hermes has been busy. They've become a social media darling. Or so the Oracle tells me. The truly amusing part is that they're not even trying to be famous. They simply can't help it. Hermes likes to people please, it's true. Hopefully it won't backfire on them. Fame is a double-edged sword. Hermes lives a charmed life. Never fear. Well, it's odd seeing their face on so many billboards, but I agree. Let Hermes have their fun. What about Pan? I haven't seen him since the trial. No one's seen him. Shouldn't we be worried? It is Pan, and what he does will reflect on us all. Pan is harmless. Uh, mostly harmless. As far as I can tell, he did regret his involvement in Calliope's death. He'll lay low. At least for a time. He'll be back with some new scheme to make us all groan. You're not wrong. <sighs> I still can't believe it's all over. Oh, it's scarcely over, Grace. Now that you've toppled the castle, it's barely just begun. Well, I didn't do that. On the contrary, you absolutely did. <laughs> Perhaps we should leave you alone, Grace. You must be tired from your trip. Kind of feels like this is it, huh? Like we won't see each other for a long time. No. Not like this. You're right. Everything has changed. Stormy skies clear, soft breeze blow. The ocean lies calm, stars are. Oh. Uh -huh. 